Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm on Atrix where I'll be hosting a giveaway. On the first place there will be 600 redeems, on the second place you will get 5 super donated boxes and on the third place you, got, you will get 5 regular donated boxes. All you do have to do to enter is make sure to leave a like on the video, make sure you are subscribed, turn on notifications and comment your in-game name down below and the winner will be picked in approximately 2 days from this video. Anyways, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm actually going to show off how the upgrade system here works on Atrix. Now this system is quite unique because um, there are a lot of different upgrade things that you will need. You have the basic upgrades that you can do like Armadillo Godsword, Dragon Claws, you just need a few um, upgrade tokens for that. I'll just show that in a second. But then there are some more advanced upgrade things that you can do. For example, you can upgrade light weaponry, uh, you can upgrade Illuminescence into fluorescence, you can upgrade uh, items into noxious items and a bunch more stuff that I'll go over in this video um, But yeah, let's start off with having a look in the bank now to upgrade items There are a bunch of things that you will actually need of course upgrade tokens but for some upgrades you also need other things like um, the earth crystals, ice crystals, fire crystals, and power gems is also something you need. Um, upgrade crystals, you might also need an illum scroll or a brutal scroll. Um, and power gems is also something that you can use, uh, I already said that, my bad. Slayer tickets you also need for some of the upgrades and uh, PVM tickets as well. But I'll go over all that in a second, you also need a bunch of items for some upgrades. But let's go ahead and start off with the most basic ones, which are just the items that you need with upgrade tokens. Now for this, you can just basically go to the um, PVM store right here somewhere. Um, if I can find real quick, oh here, the combat shop. So um, yeah, for example, if you have an AGS, Dragon Claws, um, I think you can also upgrade a whip. Um, I don't know if you can upgrade the fury but i'm just buying a bunch of items right now but as you can see once you right click these you have an upgrade system you just need a few upgrade tokens to actually upgrade those um so yeah it's it's pretty simple on these nothing really too special um you barely need any upgrade tokens i think it's like one each uh, and then you just upgrade into these but these are quite worthless like these are very common in game everyone can get them basically so it's nothing too special but then you have a bunch of other items, for example, Illuminescence is the first one I'm going to take. As you can see, you need an Illuminescence and 4 upgrade crystals to actually upgrade this into a Fluorescence. Now this is one of the more easy ones. Also you have all these wings that are tier 4, but you actually can get them as tier 1 and then you can upgrade them with upgrade tokens up until tier 4. Um, also these, you can still upgrade these, as you can see, for 2 million upgrade tokens. Let me just take all of these real quick. And um, if you upgrade one of these, for example, the Angelic Wings, you will get God Wars Dungeon Wings. Same with the Demonic Wings, these will go to Mortal Wings upgraded, as you can see right here. Um, so basically these just give upgrade stats and um, oh, I, I apparently uh, don't have 2 million upgrade tokens, so I don't know what's wrong there. But um, yeah, as you can see, you just can get a bunch of cool items from these uh, as well. I don't know if you can upgrade Elite Wings. Um, oh, I don't think so, because Elite Wings are basically... Uh, the latest version that you can get and uh, oh i just equipped them oops um but yeah you cannot upgrade those however there are a bunch of other items that you can still upgrade though like for example the um bow sword if you try to upgrade this as you can see you need a mythical crystal and upgrade crystal so let's have a look what this will make if you actually find the upgrade crystal and a mythical crystal all right so i just uh, managed to get a mythical crystal real quick so i can upgrade this bow sword and as you can see once that is done you get a bow sword empowered which is basically a stronger version let me just check the stats on these real quick i'm going to compare it with the regular bow sword because if i remember correctly i do have another one somewhere in my bank oh right there so um yeah if we check out these stats real quick um you should be able to see that the regular bow sword um has like decent stats but not op and then the empowered one okay so apparently the empowered one does not have stats yet but that will be changed very soon so um yeah it's it's already worth it it does have a special look to it so that's already pretty cool as well as you can see the blade goes more to a silverish color so yeah that's pretty nice there anyways let's have a look to another thing that we can upgrade because we have so much items i don't even know it all so um yeah let's have a look here um, the Brutal Whip, I have no idea, I think you just use, um, where is it, a Brutal Scroll or something on uh, the Brutal Whip or read this. Um, I don't know how you do this. You need a Brutal Scroll, Brutal Whip and an Earth Crystal to do this. Okay, so, oh, I guess, um, 
I guess that you can make an Earth Brutal Whip like this, um, but you can also, yeah, there we go, Brutal Whip Earth. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty dope. I think you can also make a Fire and an Ice one, but I do not have other Brutal Whips, so I cannot try that out right now, but that's probably why there is an Ice and Fire Crystal here as well. Okay, but that is pretty cool. Anyway, so let's have a look here at the Illuminescence. I needed some stuff, um, like four upgrade crystals. One, two, three. So there we go. And this should be able to make myself a Fleur Essence. There you go. The Fleur Essence is, of course, a better version of the Illuminescence. Um, can you still upgrade the Fleur Essence? Oh, you can actually. Oh, you can upgrade the Fleur Essence into a Flaming Sword by using six upgrade crystals. Okay, that's pretty dope. Once that is done, you can get a Flaming Sword, which will be needed for an other upgrade as well. So, um, yeah, okay, I think for the, uh, the, the Flaming Sword doesn't have an upgrade itself, but you need it in a recipe for another upgrade. So let's have a look here. Um, we also got an Illum Scroll, so let's have a look what we need to do with this. Um, so an Illuminescence and an Earth Crystal. Oh, and this will probably make an Earth Illuminescence, um, but let's try this out with a, uh, a Fire Crystal or an Ice Crystal. Oh, you actually do need an Earth Crystal, so I guess on the... Um, brutal Whip then, you might as well have to use something else uh, there, but um, I think if you use this, oh, I don't, I don't know then, uh, I thought you would be able to make an Ice and Fire Illuminescence as well then, but uh, yeah, we did manage to get an Earth Illuminescence, which is pretty nice there. Uh, let's have a look here to something else that we can upgrade, the Zeros Bow, I think, if you upgrade, no, it's not the Zeros Bow, I know you need a lot of items for one of these upgrades, um, you just need to find out which one it is, okay, let's get a God Bo Shot Bow Light, um, is it one of these, no, it's the, oh, here we go, the um, God Shot Bow Light, so what I need is the Dark Bow and Power, which is what I got right here, a Flaming Sword, uh, which is what I had somewhere right here, um, a Fire Brutal, a Zeros Bow, okay, um, Atrix Wings, which I am equipping right now, Noxious Knowledge Scroll, uh, which is right here, and 150 mil PVM tickets, um, so let's have a look here, if I use this and then I need this, I also need a Fire Brutal, where do I get a Fire Brutal though? You need all crystals to upgrade, okay, let's have a look here. So normally if I have an Earth Crystal, a Ice Crystal, a Upgrade Crystal, and then an, uh, a Power Crystal, which I have somewhere here. Let's find out if I can upgrade this now. Oh, there we go. Now we got a Mythic Crystal, and now we should be able to use this. Um, or use this on here. Okay, this is kind of weird. I'll have to ask the owner real quick. Okay, so to actually upgrade the God uh, Shot Bow Light, these are all the items that you need. You need the Dark Bow Empowered, the Flaming Sword, Fire Brutal Whip, a Noxious Knowledge Crawl, a Atrix Wings, the two Empowered Crystals, two Upgrade Crystals, a Zeros Bow, and then the God Shot Bow Light, and 150 million um, PVM tickets. But once that is done, you can upgrade this into a Noxious Bow, which essentially is one of the best bows in game. You can still actually upgrade this, but I do not know uh, to what you can upgrade this. Alright, so apparently, um, if you are 99 Slayer, you can uh, manage to get yourself some Slayer Monster Armor, which probably looks dope, I cannot equip it because I do not have 99 Slayer, but you can then use the uh, 99 Slayer Monster Armor plus 8 Mythical Crystals. Now, these cost a lot because you need like all the cr other crystals to actually make a Mythical Crystal. And then you can upgrade your Noxious Bow into a Noxious Bow Empowered. And um, yeah, of course, the Noxious Bow Empowered is pretty damn strong. Uh, it's it's better than the regular one, of course. Um, I do not think you can upgrade this again. No, you cannot. But um, yeah, I didn't know. I thought these uh, would have been deleted from my inventory. I guess I will have to report this to the owner real quick. But um, yeah, you get the Noxious Bow Empowered, then, which is pretty overpowered. Now for the Noxious Sight, you can actually also upgrade this one apparently, so if you upgrade this, uh, you get yourselves the Noxious Sight Empowered. What you needed was one Noxious Knowledge Crawl, two Upgrade Crystals and two um, Empowered Crystals. Now as you can see, the Noxious Sight Empowered looks pretty much the same as the regular one, but same as with the Noxious Bow Empowered, it does have a lot better stats. 
And I'm still trying to figure out how to upgrade these wings because I know you can upgrade these wings. There's also like a spirit shield upgrade if I am correct. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Once I find it out, I will let you guys know, of course, and um, then upgrade it together with everyone here. All right, now you've seen me wear these Lucian wings in one of my uh, other videos, like the first video I made. Now these are the most overpowered wings in game. You can actually get these by upgrading all these wings together. Now, as you can see here, you have the Angel Wings Trio, which look pretty dope if you ask me. You can create the Angel Wings Trio by actually using the regular Angel Wings on the Angel Wing Eyes, but you also need like Angel Wing Dust. I just don't know where you can get that. But um, anyways, once you have done that, you can just upgrade the Star Wings into the Illusion Wings, which are the most overpowered wings in game. If we can just check the stats on these real quick, let me just uh, unequip all this trash and then if we look at the stats as you can see they are pretty dope. Now another thing that you can upgrade is Slayer Shields. Now you can get these shields by just doing tasks, you get yourself some Slayer tickets. You can buy these shields for 125 Slayer tickets each in the Slayer shop. Um, then you, for the tier 1 you actually need 3 shields to upgrade to a tier 2. Once you have the tier 2 you need uh, 3 shields of tier 2 to actually upgrade it. So um, yeah, I can still upgrade it to a tier 2, but right now you need 2 tier 3 shields which is quite a lot and um, I do not have those. But as you can see the tier two looks, uh, the tier 3 looks pretty dope, once uh, you get to tier 4 it's even bigger and more dope. So um, yeah, I think tier 4 is the highest tier you can get on these uh, Slayer Shields. But yeah, that looks pretty sick as well. Now there are still some other items that you can upgrade as well. For example, Drago Rapiers, you can upgrade these uh, into AD Drago Rapiers Empowered. Same with the offhand. Uh, you need 150 Slayer tickets for each and 4 upgrade crystals for each. And then you can upgrade those into the Empowered version, which once again um, just has multiple head splashes. So yeah, that's pretty nice as well there. Um, now besides those you still have a bunch of other items that you can still upgrade like you have Celtic Lights which can upgrade like the empowered versions as well so you can do more head splashes and uh, yeah there are still a few other items that as well but there is so much items that you can upgrade to cover and there are so many different recipes that you need for each and every one uh, single item so I cannot cover them all in one video but definitely make sure to check them all out yourself. There is still a small guide on the forums as well, uh, there is like the beginner guide where a small part of the upgrade system is explained so uh, you can definitely check that out right there as well. Anyways that's going to be where I end off today's video guys, definitely make sure to still enter the giveaway that I am hosting once again it will be done in about two days. Now there were three big giveaways in this week, like three uh, different videos so if you haven't participated in all of them definitely make sure you do. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you didn't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.